Okay, so this didn't quite work out. We'll need to be able to launch something heavier. I guess we have to put the boosters on. So, back to Space Center. We have the money to unlock the boosters, but boy do I not want to spend the money unlocking SRBs. <laughs> oh well, especially SRBs that last 21 seconds. You know, maybe we can get the caster 2s, which are what we're supposed to be using on this. They'll probably last longer. 260, 39 seconds. Caster 1. These are horrible. Nah. Uh, these configurations are nicer, though. I don't care about AJ260. Give me... SRB A's. How long will that take? Little too long. <laughs> too long. We're not gonna wait that long for it. Now will be down the road. We could try slapping on the caster one, but can we really lift one ton with it? We could only lift half a ton to that orbit. Let's say we had just one ton not being used. That's, just, yeah, that's not going to get us to orbit. If we had the new engine, instead of the Vanguard engines, this is the intended engine for this. It gives it a little bit more, but it doesn't look like orbit either. Does Vanguard need to be airlit, a uh, uh, groundlit? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, I'm gonna wait for money. Is it good not to have the... I mean, I might regret replacing the vanguards with it. Because if it uh, stops, we have no hope, right? With the vanguards, if one failed, we could still keep going. Technically, we should have the MB3-3, which is this one. We need 1963 orbital rocketry. Can we get that? We can't get that yet. We don't have enough science. Hmm. Maybe we should toss some other stuff up. Let's put all the experiments on. Maybe we should have solar panels. But they're, they're probably really expensive, though. Yeah, they're really expensive. We need to see how much it costs to unlock the better solar panels. I feel like maybe the basic TV camera will get us more. But we haven't unlocked this engine. I wanted to get the vanguards again. Okay, well, but we want to unlock better solar panels and maybe better comms. Let's see if we have money for that. Probably we can't leapfrog all the way to the top there. Tech level 1, 6,500. Tech level 2, 11,000. I was pretty fond of tech level 2. 20% after 30 days, it says. Comms level 2 lets us do relays. So we'll try and get that. Okay, and we don't have to wait until we can unlock the engine. I think that makes them cheaper, yeah. It makes them cheaper and quicker to build. Shall we have a little Commutron? I think I'll have a Commutron. Let's turn off this thing's communication. We haven't upgraded our ground stations yet. I just want to be able to communicate from Geosync. And we can't. <laughs> um, okay, well, with a little bit of a boost we can. How about, let's say, 50,000. Okay. Alright, so we'll go with that. Now, power-wise... Barely perpetual. We can't turn off the avionics. This is not deep space. 47,000 is a lot right now. Um... Well, it'll be perpetual for a bit. 
We just need a little bit more science so that we can get 1963 orbital technology, orbital rocketry. Okay, we'll try to get some science with this. Hanging solar panel on Commutron? Yes. Maybe I can reduce those payload fairings. Alright, so we're just collecting science from this. We're trying to get to a high orbit. This, uh, We're not trying for the mission. Um, we need to get in space high would be good. But not necessary. Ignition. No, we lost one. Vanguard. Very reliable. And staging. And fairings. Japan in full view. Tokyo's over there. We're just gonna keep this going. Well, we have comms through Amalek anyway. We're not get to, gonna get too high over, but it'll be good enough. Well, let's orient to the sun. Okay, it is recharging for now. And we are running the experiments. And we just need some science. Oh, we have enough science. So I'll let it collect the rest on its own. Hopefully it'll be alright. Okay, that's what we want. Well, this is unacceptable as far as the pace of our research is concerned. We need more researchers. Still a little bit slow. Japanese should have gotten a Gina instead of AJ10. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I don't I don't see any way of ensuring that one ton will actually get to orbit with anything that we have available. So we pretty much have no choice but to wait. We still have funds until January 27, 1981. With that. And that's what I'm trying to do. So, we should get some more scientists to try and complete this well before then. No, well, let's just hire the max. Okay. We're gonna have to unlock the things. Lots of science coming in. Okay, wow, 151 though? Please tell me we have some credit. <laughs> okay, I think we used some credit, okay. We've got it now. We're stuck with it. 4 minutes and 20 seconds of burn time. Well, technically this tank would count as part of the payload. <laughs> We're being desperate here. Hmm. What if we just... Well, but it's sort of better to have that stage anyway. But then this will add mass. Hmm. Okay, so let's say... We just have this. And put the comm back in. That'll be a ton dry. We don't even need this controller then. We'll just have some sort of tank. Um, technically this tank... ...should be okay. I should have done this in the first place. AS SAS on, throttle up, and... ...this guy be fast. Ignition. First time we're using this engine. And launch. First time I'm using SRBs in RP1 and KSP 1.12. Past the speed of sound already. I need to pay attention. Uh, they're probably. Okay, off they go. Very nice. It's looking like a bullet. 
Okay, separation and ignition. Should just be able to go flat. We're gonna lose comms though. Yep, because we are not we didn't toss it up as high because we didn't need to, I think. Well, let's see what happens. We deliberately underdid the comms on it. Okay, well, we're about to have the right numbers. But I would like to switch it off. If possible. I don't think we gotta be able to switch it off. <laughs> But it's okay. It just needs to stay up here. We don't want a periapsis above 900 kilometers is the only thing. Okay. Alright. Well, I still can't switch it off. But I can do that. Until we get to Amalek. Well, apparently we did not pick up Amalek. We might be too high for a... I thought I had tested to 1,500 kilometers, but it does not seem to be doing that. We need uh, Cosmic Ray Science active. Come on, this thing... Really? Oh, there we go. Jeez. I should never put this little fuel in. Uh, not, uh, this little comms in, I mean. Okay. No, 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 no. Sun. Up. Cosmic Ray Science running. Oh, we already did it down here, though. Oh, we already did the Cosmic Ray Science. Um, we're gonna have to force run it, I guess? Hmm. Oh, it's no good. We're less than a ton. And we've already done the signs, so it doesn't matter. Okay, we are too light. I'm probably gonna just get rid of this in the tracking station. We went too far up anyway, so we can make it heavier. Maybe I should just put a Commutron 16 on the nose. It'll be more efficient on power and everything. But uh, we would have to extend it before... Uh, let's keep uh, some calm in the core. Because otherwise, uh, we might have some issue. We'll have this one as it was in the core. I just have to make sure to extend that when we're in space. But, well, we want to make sure it's heavier, heavier. Let's put some more experiments to make it heavier, darn it. Let's put Cosmic Ray Science 2. Well, no, but I wouldn't expect that. Let's keep it simple. Um... Let's try Mass Spectrometer 2. Probably we haven't done all the basic TV camera stuff. Definitely we haven't done infrared radiometer, so that'll be okay. Let's see. So, how heavy are you? Let's see, we finish all the fuel. Hmm, too light. Too light. And then there's this helium here for some reason. I think we can go with MHM on 3 here, finally. We don't need these tanks. We need to make it heavier somehow. I mean, they make these so irrelevant because we can just put them in the core. Why did they even do that? <laughs> Why did they do that? Right. Oh, I forgot, we have uh, these thrusters that need MMH and Mon 3. Maybe I should put some of that in. 1.5 tons is plenty. Well, we have to do propellant GSE again. Oh, that's too little, Delta V. That's probably alright. Oh, reconditioning. Okay, I still have to assume that force running the experiment is going to satisfy the thing. 
Okay, here we go. SAS on, throttle up, and ignition. And launch. Frisky. Definitely past the speed of sound. The boosters are good at that. Oh, they're off? They're off. Well, I've got to start the stuff now, darn it. And on we go. And Commutron. Nice comms. Why don't they have a comm station at Tokyo, darn it? That seems like it should be a thing. Okay. That seems fine. No, no, you don't need to do that. Um, okay, can we orient to the sun before we lose comms? Okay, it's happy. It's checking for stable orbit this time. But we have to transmit one day's worth of the cosmic ray science and hopefully force running it will work. 0% wear, I don't have that problem anymore. Oh, we've got comms. Let's spin up. Okay, that's that's 1%. Can we transmit that now? Well, let's wait until the checking for stable orbit thing is done. Okay, that's done. Well, I guess it's just it's in the midst of transmitting, right? Maybe we should pause the other things for now. Okay, it's it's done. It's happy. Okay, stop. Let's get the actual science that we want. Minimum eccentricity 0.1. Our eccentricity is 0 0.099. Come on. Uh, here, um, let me increase my eccentricity. I'll give it some margin. Now it's running. Okay. Hopefully... This will allow me to turn without it stopping. Well, I'll let it decide how much science it's going to bring us. We've done what we came to do. Back to Space Center. Radiation belts discovered. Okay. For, for scientific satellite. But you should mention Explorer 1 if you're going to say radiation belts discovered by satellite. Object D wasn't the one that discovered those. Well, we can complete the program. We've got most of the money. And we can do... I want targeted satellites, probably. Well, we can do... Oh, we all we needed was to complete the first scientific satellite to do early uh, the early lunar probes. We can't... We don't have enough confidence to get fast. Well, I'll definitely pick that up. Yes. Um, oh, I thought it was only one slot. Okay, early, satellites heavy, let's just finish it. Communication network, I mean, we probably have to do that. It might be good to do that now, since we've got the technology unlocked to have good commsats. This doesn't pay as much. It only takes up one slot. Either one does. We can do this one fast. I think that's that's fine. Comsat payload fairly high up. Yeah, I mean we'll try it. Okay. So we will proceed with our communication network first, that seems prudent. And then early lunar probes as well. And we'll see what we can do. We've been tossing th stuff pretty high up, but we need the deep space probe cores. And hopefully this will give us the money to get those. And then we'll be able to revolutionize our stuff. We've already got the MMH and Mon 3, so that's the ticket. That's basically all we need. So we have finished another program and we'll proceed from here. So with that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.